Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness. I am a personal trainer, the only, oh, there's a fly, the only personal trainer at Shape It Up. And um, I help successful, smart women get fit and lose the weight for good. So um, that is my mission in life. And today we are talking about um, something that I call the Last Supper Syndrome. So if you've ever had a weekend or a holiday or a um, vacation day and you're coming up to the end of it and you start having these thoughts of, I am going to eat this and I'm going to eat this and uh, maybe a little bit of that and you start running this long list of food items that you want to eat through your head and you start eating them, this is what I call the Last Supper Syndrome. Um, so before I dive into a little bit more about this syndrome, it's not a real syndrome, it's just what I call it, um, I and I'm also going to give you some tips at the end on how to get over it. But before we dive in, I just wanted to let you know that I have an online program that I have four spots open for, and if you are interested in really jump-starting your fitness program, your weight loss program, and you really want that streamlined for you, something customized for you, go ahead and head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Happy to set up a free consult with you. It only should take about 10 minutes, and um, we'll discuss, see if you're a good fit um, for on both ends, whether I'm a good fit for you or vice versa. So you can go there at shapeitupfitness.com slash call. All right, into the topic of today. Uh, so we're talking about what I call the Last Supper Syndrome. Um, so if you find yourself really kind of thinking about food, um, especially on a holiday or the end of the weekend, like this is perfect. Um, this video is being posted the end, sort of the end of the 4th of July weekend. We had a long weekend, right? So you might find yourself on Sunday kind of thinking, ooh, maybe I'll have a hot dog, maybe I'll have a hamburger, maybe I'll have both, maybe I'll have chips, maybe I'll have dessert. And you start going through this whole scenario in your head. Um, a lot of times in the back of your mind, what you don't hear is your brain going, oh, Monday, I'll start all over again. Um, you know, Monday is that day that everybody's like, oh, I start my diet on Monday. So even though you're thinking about all these foods, what you're really thinking about is Monday, how you're going to go back to your diet and you're going to probably sacrifice, you're going to deprive yourself and, you know, willpower and knit and grit your teeth in order to be successful in the weight loss. So what happens is, is that Sunday, you get last supper syndrome. You, you know, you think this is the last time you're ever going to eat any of this food and, you know, so you kind of go overboard. Um, and this really can backfire on you because sometimes it spreads into the week. Um, but not just physically it backfires on you, but mentally. Um, a lot of people start beating themselves up mentally, like, why did I do that? Now I feel so horrible and awful. Um, and these are really not good ways to get lasting and sustainable weight loss. Um, so I have notes here. That's why I'm looking down. <laughs> so um, a lot of it comes into this, what they call the dieters mentality. And if you grew up in the 80s or 90s, you probably have it. If you don't have it, you're one of the lucky ones, I think. But, um, you know, we always have this dieters mentality of, you know, deprivation and sacrifice and all that. So what I have for you are some tips on how to get over your last supper syndrome. All right, there is no Monday. There is only today. You can make whatever choice you want. Um, I think I said in a couple of videos ago, we had just gotten back from Disney, and I know there are certain foods that I want to eat when I'm at Disney, and I'm going to enjoy them, and I'm just going to kind of work things around them so I get to enjoy them. Um, but there is no Monday. There's only the decisions that you make today or right in this moment, okay? So those decisions are either propelling you towards your goals or away from your goals. Number two is no foods are off limits. This one can be really hard to wrap your brain around because there's a lot of conflicting information out there about what's good, what's bad, what, what you should be eating, you know, all this stuff. Granted, there are better quality of foods, but really no foods are off limits. If you want to eat Oreos, you can fit Oreos into your foods and still manage to lose weight. 
Uh, number three, you really need to give yourself permission to enjoy the foods that you want to eat. Uh, I'm not saying go overboard. So if you want a hamburger, ideally you're not going to eat four hamburgers, right? You're going to have one hamburger, enjoy it, and move on. Um, but you have to give yourself permission to eat. This is where that whole deprivation and sacrifice starts coming in is if you say no, no, no. Like if I said to you right now, if chocolate was your favorite thing, and if I said to you, like say you came in as a client and I said to you, mm, you cannot have chocolate ever again. You just can't. What would you do? You would go searching in a five mile radius for every piece of chocolate there is and you would eat it probably. Um, that is not what I'm about. I'm about giving my clients um, lifestyle changes and how basically they can fit in what they want to eat into the results that they want to get. So you have to give yourself permission to eat. All right, so the tips are again, um, there is no Monday, only right now. There are no foods off limits, and you have to give yourself permission to eat and enjoy food. Food is supposed to be enjoyable, right? All right, um, so if you need help figuring this out, depending on how long you've been in this dieter's mentality, um, I would love to help you figure this out for you. Um, I work with my clients a lot on this, and some people get it right away. Some people, it's, it's challenging because if you've been in this dieter's mentality, you know, if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, we're talking four or five decades, um, you know, it's a lot to kind of process and wrap your brain around. Um, so I want to invite you to grab a phone consult with me. It's absolutely free. It's 10 minutes and you can go to it at shapeitupfitness.com slash C-A-L-L. -L. All right. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to put it in the comment section below. I hope everybody can hear me. If you can, give me a thumbs up. Um, but feel free to put any questions you want in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. All this month of July, I am doing a video a day. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so, so far we've been pretty good since I started. Um, so make sure you like the Shape It Up page so you can be informed of the next video that is coming out. Love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will be seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.